hope the answer is good. Today I am bringing you a back to school video again. And this one is a get ready with me for the first day of school. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video, comment down below when you go back to school. And I have no other reason to ramble, so let's just get started. Let's get it. So starting off with the makeup, I'm going for a kind of, it's like an easy look, but it also looks very put together. So it's a great for a first day and first impressions. So you start off with a clean face, of course, because, you know, that's that's a thing. <laughs> and then I'm taking my Lorac Pro to Go palette. I'm taking the Cafe, Cafe, uh, I was gonna say flavor, but it's the shade. And I'm just putting that all over my lid and also a little bit into the crease. And then I'm going in with the color Mink. It's like a dark kind of brownie purple color, but it just looks more brown. And then I put that into my outer corner and then also into the crease. Then I'm taking the color Chai, which is like a kind of dark gold color, and I'm putting that under my lower lashes, and then I'm going back with the mint color, and also putting that color under my lower lashes, but at the outer corner. And then with my finger, I'm taking the color Pearl, which is like a nice champagne-y color, and I'm just putting that in the center of my lids to the inner corner, and then also on my tear duct, is that what it is? I don't know. And then for my face, I'm just taking a powder foundation. I'm not gonna go too extreme because really, who wants to fuss in the morning with liquid foundation? I know I don't. So I just get a little bit of coverage and then I go in with my Hourglass palette and I just lightly go over my face with the first shade, which is like just this overall kind of glow. And then I'm taking the last shade, which is more of like a blush shade to me. And lastly, I go in with the center shade and I use a different part of my brush to apply that to my cheekbones just to get more of a glow. And then I'm going in with some eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Pristine Eyeliner. And I'm going for a typical winged eyeliner like I always do. And a really quick tip for winged eyeliner is to line it up with your lower lash line and then just go up. And I use a felt tip eyeliner because it's a lot easier and then I just connect it with my top line and it's done. It's super, super simple. And to finish off the eyes, I'm taking my mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You guys know I'm obsessed with it. It is just like the best mascara ever. Makes my lashes so long and voluminous, so I really like that. And then for my brows, I'm taking the It Cosmetics brow pencil thing. On camera, it doesn't look like it matches my eyebrows, but it actually does once I blend it together, so don't worry about that. And that is the makeup look. It's just super simple and easy for the first day of school. And moving on to the hair. I'm just going super simple because I don't like to mess with my hair too much. I'm taking second day hair and just spraying in some dry shampoo. And I just have these natural curls in my hair. So I was like, you know what? Let's just wear it out, whatever. And I just figured they'd be fine if I just added some dry shampoo to add more volume and get rid of any of the oils. And last but not least, we have an outfit. So the first day of school, it's usually still kind of warm out depending on where you live, but that's like end of August, early September. So I wore a pair of shorts and also a kind of tank top shirt. So my shirt is from Aritzia. I just featured this in my haul. That was my last video. And it is the softest shirt ever. My shorts are from Toby.com. They're super, super comfortable. And then my shoes are just a pair of Converse. My flannel is from Urban Outfitters. I'm obsessed with it. It's so soft. It's by BDG. And it's one of my absolute favorite flannels. And the necklace I am wearing is from Swarovski. My backpack is from Forever 21. I gotta say, it's not the most practical backpack for back to school, because you can't really fit much in it, but it's a cute backpack. So that was my video for today. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. I have been having so much fun making these back to school videos for you guys, and I hope that you have been having a good time watching them. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye.